What's up, people? In this video, we are going to take a look at this lovely human being here, Nikocado Avocado. Um, I've heard of this guy and never actually watched his videos. Um, the guy, like, I don't know. I've never actually watched his videos, but from what I can tell, I don't know, I don't even want to say, but he seems like a little bit mentally ill. <laughs> like, sorry, bro, you're never going to watch this, but like, you're you're mentally ill like a hundred years ago like you you wouldn't have you wouldn't have been able to do this but anyway it's like you know god bless america and the modern society that we live in that somebody like this can not only do well for themselves but achieve what he has achieved like good for him congratulations i'm very happy for you um but and again i've never seen his videos so like what do i know so we're gonna watch this video it's very long 51 minutes we're gonna watch it at two times speed because I've got stuff I need to do today and I don't want to, you know, spend an hour of my day um, watching this video. Okay, so this video, Sonic, my last video, Mukbang, obviously not his last video. If you look at his channel, he's got like a lot of dramatic nonsense in here. Like, what was it? Like, I can't be with him anymore. Uh, there's another one on here. Like, why I left him for good and I'm not going back. God, what am I doing with my life? All right, anyway, let's watch this video. Hey, Los Lofts, it's me, Nick Avocado. I'm back home. Sing it with me one last time. I'm back home. Hello, I'm back home. Juju, I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating for the last time. Sonic. This video is bit bittersweet. It probably would have been the title because, hey, one of those days. It's a very special day, very sad day, very bittersweet day. And we're gonna talk about it today. But welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I don't even know which channel I'm putting this on. I'm putting this on my main channel. I'm gonna put this on my new channel. I'm gonna put this on my old channel. I don't even know. I'm doing channels. But anyways, I'm doing Sonic. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. And um, thank you for your time. So let's show you everything that I got. Still hot and steamy. Have my mozzarella sticks. Mm, can't go to Sonic without the mozzarella sticks. Over here I have a double cheeseburger. Ooh, that looks really good. In here I have. Oh, this one got twisted. This one is twisted. That is a chili cheese foot long coney. Basically, it's another word for hot dog. Check it in the bottom. Like two bucks. And then over here, I have. Oh, I've never had this before. This is something new. Well, they, I don't think I've had this. This here is. Oh, ouch! It's really hot. This is a breakfast sandwich. It's called a sandwich. Sonic witch. Song croissant. I don't know. It's a croissant. It's um sausage, egg, cheese on a croissant. I got more mozzarella sticks because it's my last Sonic meal, and I have to go big, go big, or go home. And then over here, I have French toast sticks, which I've fallen in love with. I mm, delicious. And I got some tater tots. Also, this is a large as well. So I got lots of sauces. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab some food. We're gonna eat together, hang out. We have a lot to talk about this video. I'm gonna address some things in this video to make it very clear because there's some drama going on, and I'm not even like. And I, I'm, I just had my little drama. I'm over it, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't need no more. Okay, so I'm gonna address that in this video, and we're gonna talk about some other things, and we're gonna celebrate this chapter together. So let me get everything set up for the thumbnail, and then we'll begin. Let's go. Ta-da! I just took a celebratory shot, by the way. So life, 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 life is crazy. Life is full of adventure. Life, things, lots of things happen. But you know what? Nick, edit this out. Hello, I'm back home from the microwave. I'm home. Hello from the microwave. We all. I'm so excited. I took another shot, so I'm really happy. <laughs> Follow my Instagram at Nickocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Ouch! This is really hurting my fingers. Oh, look at that. I love cheese. Don't love cheese. Don't love cheese. So, kind of interesting, but like, all right. So there's this website called 4chan, right, which is an anonymous image posting board, and there's a basically it's a lot of people acting really obnoxious because it's really 100% anonymous. Not like Facebook or Reddit where you have like a username. There's no usernames on 4chan. And there's a fitness board and occasionally people will post a picture of this guy and just kind of say something about him. And somebody said something very interesting um, about a week or two ago, which is that this guy's a troll, right? He's not actually being serious about what he's doing. He's really just trolling people that he doesn't like. I don't think that's true. But when you watch this video and you kind of think about it through that frame, it's kind of interesting. Like, <laughs> imagine if this was just a caricature of some fat gay guy eating all this like terrible food and really kind of doing it for the camera and just kind of hamming it up through this entire thing. Okay, so f uh, yeah, let's watch a little more and I'll give you my first impressions. <laughs> I love you. I love you, I appreciate you. So you heard me right. This is my last video here. I leave in 28 hours to go to the airport, and I'm saying goodbye to this apartment. Now, there's still only one or two months left on the, the lease. How to pay it, oh well. I can't stand here anymore. This is my last video. Like, well, if you're leaving in 28 hours, why aren't you filming another one tomorrow? Tomorrow is a very busy day. All the pressure that we're not taking in Pennsylvania is going to Orleans Mons, so she's driving all the way here. It's a Friday, what's today? No, it's Saturday. Coming here tomorrow. We leave on Monday. Oh, sorry, my mom can't do something. Um, yeah, so, I'm new chapter. New beginnings. New York City, here I come. 
I tell Orlando there's so many LA YouTubers. How many New York City YouTubers are there? I can't even name one except for Tiffany. She plays piano at Juilliard. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I was joining anyone to Yale or a doctorate or something. I should be the New York City YouTuber, vlogging on the subway, going to the, the concerts in the park, going on the ferry boat between Staten Island. <gasps> That's gonna be me. I'm so ready for this. I'm going to PA first, and then go to New York after that. Please tell me it's a syrup and I'll barbecue. Thank you. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I hate when people do that. That's like, again, you know, whatever. But like, if somebody licks their fingers like that in front of me, like, oh, it's, I automatically write that person off as like, I just can't stand it. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Um, what do I think about this guy? Good for him that he uh, has found his niche. Honestly, like my, what I'm thinking is that I, I kind of want to do videos like this, <laughs> minus the whole like gay and fast food aspect of it like healthy food mukbang mukbang whatever is there a market for that uh yeah because it it seems pretty easy and you just get to talk to the camera and eat and just talk about your life like sounds pretty fun actually maybe i'll start doing that um but that's my first impression but you know this guy like he's this is a uh, it's a performance it's just a performance he's got a lot of you know he's very gay very flamboyant he eats a lot of really unhealthy food so it's got that kind of jerry springer like quality to it and he's completely unapologetic for who he is which i think is a, a very attractive quality um in any human being um that's kind of th those are the types of people that we that we like which i think is why women like gay men so much because they seem very unapologetic for who they are they're just like so like out there all right let's watch more i don't feel at home here i don't feel at home oh that's a ranch over here Mmm. Mm. You know what I mean? Goes to a place you feel at home. Why do you have to stay there? Now, kids work, etc. But I work on the internet. That brings me to my next thing. And that's heard me like one or two times. I think on the other channel. I don't know which channel I'm putting this on. I mentioned my OnlyFans account. Obviously, you know, I was taking shirtless photos, underwear, selfies, and stuff. I'm putting them on Instagram. A lot of people didn't like it. Got lots of like, ew, ew, you're gross, you're fat, blah, blah, blah. But then a lot of people enjoyed it. So I made an OnlyFans account with that one. Now, I didn't say, I forgot to say, I didn't say this on purpose. That's I forgot to say, this is 18 and older website. The website makes you verify. You have to pay to even look at it. So five year olds aren't going to have, you know, 10 bucks to even do anything anyway. It's really just the courtesy of, you know, it is 18 and older website. I forgot to say that. I, it was just a given to me, but I realized it's not a given to everyone. They'll find out when they actually type it in, but still, I should be letting you know from the get-go. So I apologize. I saw a little drama like Nick was trying to get all these children to watch him strip down in his undies. And I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's just, I, it, didn't, it didn't occur to me. And that's really bad of me. So I'm really sorry I didn't. I was not trying to create scandals, not trying to get kids upset. I just was like, I thought everyone knew this, but it's never good to assume. And probably people know that, so I'm sorry. I am really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I say it in my bio, I added it too. My little bio on the website. I'm like, this is explicit content. But still. Please forgive me, I'm very new, I've only talked about it a few times. I mean, a tweet or two about it, I've done some Instagram stories. So, I mean, I, I know from now on. I'm having so much fun there, though. <laughs> I actually love it. Mmm, this is so good, let's try this, I've never had this before. Oh. Mmm. 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 Cheesy, I love sausage. Oh. This is the best farewell video ever, right? <laughs> This is my favorite fast food place. I'm also, um, requested this a lot. I'm known for Sonic. Type in Sonic Buckbong. Most viewed. Like, go to the little search thing. Out of the top 50, or top 20, 10 of them are mine, so... You know, it comes to seafood? No, when it comes to other things? No, when it comes to wings? No, when it comes to... Anything? No, but Sonic, for whatever reason, people like to see me eat here, so... I'm so happy. Let's try this. Oh, chili cheese dog. Look at that. Ooh! Mmm. Mmm! Let's try this burger. I put some ranch on there for the thumbnail. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love my life. Oh. This feels so good after taking a shot of alcohol. Where I feel. <laughs> I'm trying to really control myself. <clears throat> children show. Okay, can we talk about the whole children's show? When I say it's a children's show, I'm not for kids. I've never been for kids. I shave my hair, I melt down, I swing knives around. I get things in my eye, there's blood everywhere. I get attacked by a sloth, I go to hospital. I get deported and cry about that. I get drunk and, you know, shake my movies everywhere. I talk about dicks when I'm drinking Carly Steel. I get drunk again, then I do Mrs. Pickles hacks. I've never been a children's show. If I say it's for children, it's irony. It's supposed to be sarcastic. This is not a children's website. YouTube is not for children in general. They made an app for kids specifically to, you know, weed out, <coughs> weed out content like mine. I know some of mine could be all, age, all ages, but a lot of them are. Most of them are. 
Uh, I saw some people too saying a little Twitter thing like, oh, most of his viewers are children. No, they're not. Do you, do you know how many sponsorships I've done? How many sponsorships and the first thing they ask before they pay me or send me the product is can I see your demographics? They're not gonna send me something if they know only babies are watching me. You know, this isn't what's it called, Ryan's Toy Box or something. I, this is not a kid show. And companies know that before they hire me to shop them out or whatever, where I do a collaboration with someone. We make sure we have the same audience. Kids make up for like 5% of my audience, not even. It's mostly adults, and then it comes to like 18 to 24. Then the next bracket is like 40 to 50. I have a lot of middle-aged women watching me. And then we have the children, right at the bottom. But I'm gonna be reserved in today's video. I know my drunk buns, I get wild. Today I'm gonna be reserved. Looking cute, look. Ooh, I was watching this boy last night. On YouTube. He's so cute. And he's taken, and so am I, but still. You ever feel that way? You're married, you're like, shoot! Wait a minute, what am I about to look, right? Uh-oh, so then I look, can I imagine? Oh shoot, there was someone too. Oh, it gets even harder. It's okay, we can think, we can imagine. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's so handsome. Mm. And I'm not gonna say anything else, because then people start knowing what I'm talking about. Embarrassing. And I've actually talked to this person, you know, well, I didn't really tell, well, I did say, but I, mean, I, I, I say everyone's cute, so I don't know if he really knows I meant it. And that's okay, I promise I won't talk about it. <laughs> but he was drinking last night, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. It's a party in here. Give me some of this big hot dog. Mm. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ugh, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, on the one hand, I don't know. Like, I, I'm kind of thinking right now, I'm like, how does this guy have a million, one and a half million subscribers? Like, who are these people that, that watch his videos on a regular basis. Like this video has a million views. It means a million people watch this video. I don't know. I'm just like, I just, I d I'm like, s I'm speechless. I'm stunned. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's like kind of out there. I mean, are they, I don't even know. I'm like, I'm, I'm just, who, who wants to watch this? <laughs> I really don't know. Again, no hate towards this guy, but like, who, who are these, who are these people? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing bad at sign. Then again, I, you know it's like the same stuff. Okay. Here's the thing. I remember having their boneless chicken wings and not being too impressed. Their boneless bites or whatever. I was like, mm, eh, no. So I don't get those. So anyways, I apologize. I'm so sorry. So I forgot to put 18 plus when I mentioned it. I should have, I'm so sorry. It just went over my head. Honestly, it's because I don't even post like, I don't want to say the word P-O-R in there. I don't do that. I'm not posting anything full, you know. I mean, it's not even like, maybe that's why it across my mind, because it's not like I'm actually doing that. I mean, I, I'm doing borderline, like, tease, happy, turn you on. <clears throat> I mean, you can see outlines if you go like this. I mean, you know. But it's not all the way. But still, uh, that's not excuse. I guess I'm trying to reason why. I didn't even, I didn't say it. I guess I, I just thought it was, whatever. I just thought it was obvious. But... No, I know. So I hope you guys can forgive me. I still love you. I hope you love you too. I hope you love me. Are you excited to meet in New York? Mmm. Mmm. I hope you watch me when I'm vlogging. I'm making a vlogging channel. So I told you I'm making a new channel, right? I tell you it every day. I've been saying it for two months. Still hasn't happened. I know, I know. But it's on the way. I'm determined. <laughs> Third time's the charm. But I'm also going to make a vlog channel. And maybe an ASMR channel. So I will have five mother effing channels. Noodle King, Nick Ricardo, Nick Ricardo, I'm kind of two. And Nick, and Nick Vlogs. I find that shit. Damn. <laughs> People seem to like to hear what I have to say. People want to see me go out and interact with the real world. People, I don't know. They say they'd they be entertained by it, so I don't know. I'll do it. I mean, if I'm in New York, I have to. Like, what? Oh, I feel good. I feel perfect amount of buzz. Like, I'm perfectly control. The hormones are not too, like, up and down. It's a little going up, but... It's most... <laughs> no. No. I'm normal. How should I normal? Ew, the, this... Oh, the marinara sauce is going to be heartburn. No. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love this sandwich. Mm -mm 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 -mm. With maple syrup. Uh, that's where it's at, yo. Ah, that's where it's at. Did I eat all my French toast. I did. The French toast is great. <laughs> that is so good. I love my life. How did I get so blessed? How did I get so lucky? I have such amazing viewers. So much opportunity. I get thanks all the time. Knowing that I was born in Ukraine and my life would be so different had I not been adopted. Ah, I'm just like, wow. I'm so happy. On to another. Onwards forever. New channel, new chapter. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm. I love Sonic. No fast food place like this. Breakfast all day. That right there. I mean, wow. You have spicy egg burritos, which are delicious. 
if they had burgers like Smash Burger, which I'm obsessed with, check out my Smash Burger videos. I have two of them now. Uh, do they have them in New York? Let me look. Let's find out. Because that's my new favorite burger. Smash Burger is so good. Smash Burger NYC. <gasps> they have a few. Well, very far in between. I mean, yes. One in the financial district, and then one in um, Brooklyn Heights, downtown Brooklyn, basically. And the other one, oh, Midtown Manhattan. Yes, the Smash Burger. If Sonic had burgers like Smash Burger, I would marry this place. I would beg to be the spokesperson because I, I just go crazy over everything they have to offer here. And if it had a Whopper, and if it had, and if it had, and if, what's it called? Long John Silver's fish and French fries. Oh. And so, oops, I don't see that song. How very. Can I get more Oh my god. That is so, so, so good. So last time I lived in New York City, which was many years ago, I was skinny. I was very poor. Er. <laughs> oh my god, I used to live on three hours a day. Literally, I used to walk two hours to avoid a bus. It was rough, but let's, let's be positive. I lived in Jersey City. I got to wake up. I used to do, not really yoga, but I used to run around in the track in the park. And I would walk all the way to the path train, which was like a good 35, 40 minutes, given the path. Subway all the way to Manhattan. <sighs> I missed the New York hustle and bustle. People read the newspaper in the morning. The smell of coffee <sighs> and bagels. New York City bagels. And the... The seagulls. I love New York. I've never been so happy or been there. This is bad English. I'm sorry. Oh shoot, I'm gonna fall. This is no. This is no okay. Mm. I've never been on the New World Trade Center. I'm afraid it's very tall. Look at no plane fits or shit. Bye bye, Nicaragua. I get nervous if we've tall buildings now. I mean, it's never happened again. But there's some twisted people in this world. You ever think that way? Like you watch, um, was it Final Destination? Then you can never go on a roller coaster ever again. Uh, I don't even know. Like, <clears throat> I mean, what am I supposed to say? Like, I'm supposed to be like, oh, that fast food is so bad for you. Like, no shit. Like, obviously. Um, but I think at this point, it's just more important to kind of analyze it for the like entertainment value of it, because this is not, this is just entertainment, you know, like it's a, it's like watching a cartoon almost like it's not a I don't want to say it's not a real person I'm sure he's exactly like this in real life um but yeah whoever asked me to do this why did you ask me to look at this video <laughs> I really I don't get it like what am I supposed to say about this I really don't know like this is not I mean I've heard he cries in some of his videos I don't know I, I could see why because if you're eating all of this food like you're just getting like dopamine spike after dopamine spike after dopamine spike which is kind of like you know what it seems to be like his life is like anyway right he's just very um excessive with everything <sighs> um but yeah i mean uh, honestly as far as fast food goes this really isn't so bad right like if you exercise regularly and like you decide to go nuts and eat this every once in a while like mozzarella sticks, chili dog, like a couple burgers, chicken finger, chicken nuggets or whatever. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. But like, you know, I don't even know. Let's just keep watching, I guess. I'm just like, um, this is, I don't know. Uh, this is a little quick mukbang to say goodbye, to celebrate my time on this channel. Which channel am I putting this on? I still don't know. And I'm happy for it to move on. I'm happy to get out of here. I'm, I'm going to avoid, avoid hurricane season. Yay. I'm going to avoid that really bad mosquitoes. There's mosquitoes everywhere, but not like Florida. Yay. I'm going to avoid the swamp heat and humidity. There's humidity up north, but not like Florida. Yay. I'm going to actually see some greenery, see some lush rolling hills. Not New York City, but I love the hustle and bustle. They go, upstate New York is breathtaking. Gorgeous. But I went to a um, camp upstate New York. What was it called? Camp Walden. I want to buy a house there. Right on the lake, the pine trees, and the crisp air. You starve, there's no Costco, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. And people say, Nick, every time you go someplace, you say it's going to be better. You don't like it and you go somewhere else. That's not true, is it? Well, maybe. Maybe I'm a liar. Maybe I contradict myself. And people say that. They're like, Nick, every time you didn't like Pennsylvania. Really? I think Pennsylvania having beautiful qualities. What did I like about it? I can't. Do you remember? You might remember better than me. I have a mosquito bite on my foot right now. It's really bothering me. But, um, yeah. Just New York and Philadelphia. That's a, oh, can't wait to show you. Orland's only been to my house once in his whole life. Many, 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 many years ago. When we first started dating, when we first got together. We were very different people, different in the head. I've talked about this a million times. I'm going to it for my regular viewers who are another story. But we never did anything. We never went out to the city. We never did, we never went anywhere. We didn't do anything except eat fruit and take photos of the fruit. So, I mean, my, my life, ironically, still revolves around food, but not like, it doesn't cripple me. It doesn't cripple me. That crippled me. I couldn't do anything. <clears throat> so, I want to take Orland to, um, there is a place I used to go as a kid called Knobles. It's an amusement park somewhere in Pennsylvania. Is it in the Poconos? Pennsylvania is a big state. We used to drive there. It's so much fun. I want to go to Knobles with Orland. <laughs> I love it. That was my childhood. Every summer, my parents took me and my sisters. They have a great roller coaster called the Phoenix, which is award, uh, an award-winning roller coaster known for its airtime. So, the fact that I'm wearing something, you're like, wow, what's that? I've seen so many comments about this necklace. I actually just went to Macy's to try it, and I wasn't. 
I can get a shirt like this from Brooks Brothers. For All right, I think that's enough. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Like, what am I supposed to say about this guy? Like, I, I, I don't even. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything about his health because he's not even like trying. Obviously, not even trying. So like, why would I? Why would I say anything? Because it's like, why I'm gonna pick on him for eating fucking fast food? That's like his. That's like what he does. That's his thing. So um, now I can say that I watched one of his videos and I've seen it. And like, if you guy, if you watch this guy's videos regularly, like, I don't know, maybe you should get a hobby or something. <laughs> okay. So if you have any other recommendations for YouTubers whose videos you think I should watch, um, let me know. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. Oh, and if I do, if I don't know, should I do a mukbang video for like healthy food? Is that smart or is that dumb? Anyway, let me know in a comment.